All right, so hello and welcome to this video tutorial for RC Hibbler's Engineering Mechanics Statics textbook. So we have this problem from chapter three here that's asking if the five kilo block is suspended from the pulley uh, B and the sag of the cord is 1 point, uh, 0, 0 0.15 meters, determine the force in cord ABC, neglect the size of the pulley. Now, the kind of, um, what's going on here conceptually is something that stumped me a little bit before tackling this problem, I must admit. I think Hibbler here has designed this problem in such a way so that it gets students asking questions, mainly because the diagram here isn't symmetric, right? Now that's frustrating because it gets you asking questions like, well, does that mean that the force in here is equal to the force in here? Um, you know, is uh, this angle here equal to this angle here? And it it got me so kind of frustrated that I, I, I created my own little kind of experiment here. So let me switch to webcam just to kind of demonstrate this to you guys. If you take a piece of string and then just kind of hang something off that string, the idea here is that we've got two points either side of this string that are equal in kind of vertical distance. And if you take, you know, a piece of string uh, and hold each end of the string at an equal horizontal distance, you notice that it is symmetric. But if you play around with it enough, right, you can hold the both ends of the piece of string at uh, an equal kind of vertical distance and have an asymmetric uh, kind of shape in the string. Um, the thing is, right, I've been grappling with this for the, the last few minutes. The thing to remember with these problems is that um, we are dealing with kind of idealized systems. And one of the things that is kind of idealized about this system is that the pulley is frictionless. The pulley is frictionless. Okay, so when I kind of play around with the string and, and I develop a kind of um, uh, kind of asymmetric shape here. The thing that is actually preventing the uh, spanner or whatever falling further down the string is the friction between the, the two objects. In this system, we're de dealing with an idealized one. So before tackling this problem, we can say, yes, we're dealing with a symmetric system. Uh, the tension on uh, the kind of a B side is equal to that on the BC side. Yes, um, the angles with the horizontal here are equal. Understanding these conceptual ideas that we've just discussed, let's go ahead and draw our free body diagram here. Okay, so we can describe the weight of the block here as 5G since it's it's 5 kilos. Um, if you weren't aware, if you want to convert a kilo mass into a weight, you, you just need to uh, uh, multiply it by acceleration due to gravity here. I reckon a good place to start here might be to solve for theta. The reason I'm saying that is just because we have the geometry of the problem here. Um, we have enough to solve for theta, so let's go ahead and do it. So we could take we could take this shape here. We could say this is a right angle triangle that goes 0.2 across right, since that's just half of 0.4 meters, and it goes uh, one, 0 0.15 up. Okay, and we're looking for theta here. Evidently, we have um, uh, 0.2 as our adjacent and 0.15 as our opposite. Um, we can say then that the tan of theta is equal to uh, 0 0.15 over 0 0.2. Okay, so we could take the inverse tan of both sides. Uh, so the inverse tan of 0 0.15 over 0 0.2, that will give us 36.87 degrees. Now, some of you might look at 36.87 degrees and be quite familiar with it. Um, uh, the reason you might be familiar with it is because actually this triangle here um, in case you weren't aware, is actually a kind of three, four, five triangle in disguise, right? If I take 
um, 0 0.15 over 0 0.2 here, I could simplify this to three quarters, right? So I, I could, uh, proportionally, I could say, you know, well, this side here is three, sorry, this side here is four, this side here is three, three for five is a Pythagorean triple, so that you can say this side is five here, um, and we have a three, four, five triangle. Okay, so just to kind of, kind of simplify things, I'm going to use this three, four, five triangle idea here. Okay, now we have this. We can go ahead then and start resolving. Um, let's resolve vertically here. So we can say um, in the vertical, uh, uh, the forces add to zero. So what's going up is equal to what's going down. What's going up? Well, we have the vertical component of, of our T here on both sides. Um, I'm going to describe that as 2T to describe um, both T's here acting up um, times 3 fifths. OK. What's acting down? Well, we've got this 5G. OK, is this solvable? Yes, we've got one unknown in there. We could just rearrange for it. Uh, to rearrange for T here, we could multiply by 5 thirds. And we could uh, divide by two here. So that's going to land us on 25 sixths of G is equal to T. OK, uh, and now we, when we plug that into our calculator, that gives us a rough value of 40.9 newtons. OK, and that's our solution. Um, an interesting problem that got me thinking quite hard for a moment. Uh, but the, the, the process and the solution here are actually quite simple. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section down below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching.